Not even Goldman Sachs can beat me in a trade. Excuse me while I go flush some cheap wine that only cost me 800,000 yen. Little did anyone know that the juvenile, naive entrepreneur trash-talking on Japan's most visited online bulletin board would go on to amass a tremendous fortune of 6 billion yen or $61 million in 2013. Generating an impressive multi-million empire from scratch, this is the story of CIS, Japan's most notorious day trader. Let me paint a picture for you. Imagine meeting the man behind the online alter ego CIS. You would expect a confident, flashy individual with a net worth of millions. Much to your astonishment, he's quite the opposite in person. A rail-thin man with a shaggy mop of hair walks into the room wearing a gray sweater, jeans, and sneakers. At first glance, he looks like any other person on the street. You would never guess that he's actually a multi-millionaire. But that's just how he rolls. He's got incredible self-control and doesn't feel the need to flaunt his wealth with dazzling suits or expensive cars. Instead, he prefers to keep things low-key and focus on what really matters to him, making smart trades and feeding his capital. Pale and haggard from hours spent staring at computer screens, he looks more like the video game junkie he once was. The stress of his profession has taken a toll on him, leaving him with chronic stomach pain and a few gray hairs at the temples. It's a stark contrast to the image he portrays online, but that's just how it goes in the world of high-stakes trading. For those who don't know, CIS is a self-made millionaire, a legend, and a phenomenon in the world of day trading. Over a decade, he has accumulated a whopping fortune, exceeding 16 billion yen, or $100 million as of today, making him a true success story. His name has become synonymous with wealth and prosperity. CIS has garnered a loyal following among the Japanese day trader community, serving as a role model of those treading the rugged waves of the market. His identity is shrouded in enigma, and his methodology remains a secret, adding to his enigmatic persona. His trading prowess is akin to a wizard who works behind the scenes without anyone knowing how he does it. CIS's work is truly remarkable, and he has built a name for himself in the education and finance world. This is Moneymakers. To understand CIS's global impact on day trading, it's essential to know his roots and background. CIS didn't come from money. In fact, his childhood was far from ideal, most of it plagued with academic failure, emotional strain, abuse, and peer pressure. Nevertheless, CIS was brilliant, a childhood prodigy with a knack for numbers, patterns, probability, and recognition of trends. These godsends, when fueled by a sheer competitiveness, unquenchable thirst for victory, and despicableness for losing made him unstoppable. Born in 1979, when the Japanese economy was booming and the country was technologically advancing at ungodly speeds, CIS hails from a traditional middle-class household. Growing up in Japan, loitering on the streets of Tokyo as a child, he was obsessed with games. However, there was one thing about games that he totally despised, losing. One that mainly got on his nerves was the lottery game. CIS often hung out with his kindergarten buddies at the local store to purchase snacks and attempt to win the lottery game. Unfortunately, their luck was always sour and they would walk away feeling disappointed with the repetitive loss. For months, CIS repeated the same cycle of buying in and losing, but he was determined to find a way to beat the lottery game. One day, CIS had a light bulb moment. What if he and his friend purchased an entire box each instead of buying single lotteries? That way, they would have a better chance of winning. The two boys felt confident about their strategy and handed in the numbers at the counter. The results were astonishing. CIS and his mate won. What astounded him the most was the fact that the winning numbers in both boxes were the same. Little CIS was absolutely clueless about how his outstanding discovery was set to alter the entire trajectory of his life. He learned one of the most crucial lessons of his life that day the universal law that every game had expected values and patterns. He realized he could conquer any game or challenge in life if he carefully studied its rules and intricacies. With this newfound wisdom, CIS was about to master gaming, as well as the art of winning at quite literally everything in his life. He was on the verge of learning to outsmart opponents and overpower the system. While the Japanese economy struggled to rise from the ashes of World War II, CIS was raised by typical Japanese parents for whom a quality education and a degree were religiously important. 
Strictness was the norm. His parents held high expectations for him, particularly in regard to his education. It was a formidable challenge for CIS as he struggled academically and could not meet their expectations. This left him feeling like a failure, a good-for-nothing youngster with little to offer. Dread weighed heavily on him as he went to school daily, escaping his troubles by spending leisure time at the local arcade in Tokyo, where he immersed himself in fighter games with his closest friends. CIS had mastered the wicked keyboard skills, memorizing over 100 keystroke shortcuts, everything from Control A to guzzle a healing potion, to Shift S to draw a sword. He was a brainiac of his craft, dancing between keystrokes without ever taking his eyes off the screen. CIS had an uncanny ability to spot patterns and a natural propensity towards fighter video games. His nimble fingers could make the characters leap, punch, and kick effortlessly. On the other hand, CIS also bore the bane of emotional instability, which made him all too easy to taunt. Every time he was triggered, the game would slip out of his grasp like sand between his fingers, yet he refused to give up. The challenge of winning against his friends was too great to overlook. CIS had sworn to become the top player in the arcade and realized that quick thinking and composure were elemental for victory after spending numerous hours practicing. Games taught me to think fast and stay calm, revealed CIS in an interview at Tokyo's Hotel Grand Palace. He soon became an infamous tough player to beat amongst the local arcade fanatics, earning him the nickname CIS, which in Japanese means death. He embraced it like a badge of honor. The once scrawny kid who would lose at every game was now an undefeatable force. His razor-sharp focus and unmatched agility made him a natural at the game. I was a pretty confident player, but just like in the real world, the more opponents you have, the worse your chances are, CIS recalled in an interview with Bloomberg. You lose nothing by running. Though this victory had come at a cost, his grades were severely impacted, and his academic performance was at an all-time low. CIS had never been one for books, but this was stealing too much from his future. He built up a sense of pride from his reputation at the local arcade. Only if he knew his true challenge was only just beginning. His family had lived through poverty, so his parents deemed education his best chance for a better life. Things got worse as his grades went dramatically downhill. His mom was extremely tough on him for his academic negligence and often hit him with her belt or through her sandals. With limited finances and household abuse, CIS grew up a hopeless kid trapped by his surroundings. As middle school came to a close, his parents started to restrict him from going outside and to the local arcade unless he improved his grades. Given no other option, CIS was compelled to persevere through his academic pursuits. He just wanted to get it over with. Following his secondary education, his parents decided he would pursue a degree in mechanical engineering due to his relatives' prominent positions within the manufacturing industry. A lot of CIS's time at university was spent playing Ultima Online, developing his character, creating weapons, and managing resources, which he now jokingly refers to as building and protecting assets. Despite the massive amount of time he spent locked up in his bedroom gaming, CIS graduated with marginal grades. He was able to secure a job as a mechanical engineer in his family's company. He hoped this would sweeten his relationship with his family, but much to his dismay, that wasn't the case. Stuck in a boring 9-to-5 gig as a mechanical engineer, CIS felt entrapped in a rut with no love, life, and barely any cash. Being a competitive guy, he wanted to come out on top more than ever. Sick of feeling like a loser and wanting to prove his parents wrong, CIS decided he would do whatever it took to break free from the monotony. After getting rejected by the girl he was into and growing up poor, he figured out that money was the only thing that mattered to the system and the way to turn heads. In 2000, when he was 21, CIS saved $30,000 from his engineering job and decided to dive into the trading world. He would ponder all day long how he could smash the market. He started out with the conventional method of buying undervalued stocks that had the potential for growth in the long haul, but that wasn't bringing in the dough fast enough. So he decided to switch it up and start day trading, a more active strategy of scalping, going for quick profits by buying and selling multiple times a day. That's how he found a way to make bank on the daily. His market experience was limited, and although he had good pattern recognition, taking high-risk wins often resulted in an equal number of losses which prevented him from reaching his goal of making a lot of money. Despite repeated failures, CIS persisted. He happened to meet the legendary Japanese day trader BNF, 
and with the determination to defy the odds, CIS devised a new strategy focused on his gaming-honed pattern recognition skills. CIS began trading, emerging trends and patterns. To determine the trend direction, he relied on the 5-day and 25-day moving averages and the angle of the cross on the daily chart. This approach proved successful as he grew his account to an unbelievable $100,000. Despite the initial win, he worked on refining his strategy. Like his beloved game Ultima Online, CIS understood the significance of recognizing when an adversary is too strong and when it's time to tap out, a paramount lesson for any proficient gamer. This principle also applies to the stock market. As a day trader, CIS disregarded a company's fundamentals or earning reports and knew that he was essentially competing against other individuals. Some people can do it, some can't, said CIS, but the game taught a bigger lesson, when to cut and run. Drawing from his keen sense of gaming intuition, he deftly maneuvered his way through the volatile world of investments, sidestepping all obstacles with cunning precision. His shrewd strategy allowed him to minimize losses and maximize profits bolstering his rapidly expanding fortune to staggering heights. By age 25, his towering account boasted a jaw-dropping worth of $3 million, a testament to his dogged persistence and unyielding determination to triumph against all odds. With every well-calculated move, he outshone his rivals and beat the market at its own game, emerging victorious with overflowing wealth. As CIS continued to prove his parents wrong and adapt to his new surroundings, he found himself brimming with a renewed sense of confidence and a burning passion to succeed. Each successful trade felt like a bomb to his very soul, as if he was reclaiming a piece of himself that had been lost. CIS's reckless and overly aggressive attitude on the Japanese Forum 2 channel quickly earned him a notorious reputation as one of the country's most ruthless and cutthroat day traders. His meteoric rise to the top of the trading world reinvigorated his arrogance, and he continued to make bold moves that left his competitors trembling in fear. That's not all. CIS's gambling habits were insatiable, and his reputation as a wild dog acquired him a cult-like following amongst the Japanese day trading communities. The eyes of his followers followed his every move with rapt attention, and the thrill of the chase only served to ignite his monstrous vanity. He was a force to be reckoned with, nothing could stand in his way. Whether he was right or wrong, his trades were nothing short of a spectacle, a performance of greed and guts that left onlookers breathless. When he was right, he won big, and even when he was wrong, his losses were mere minor setbacks. CIS was all the way up. He had become invincible. CIS became a hero, an epic in the world of day trading. He had spectacularly transformed his account from $3 million to $30 million in just one year, becoming a money-printing machine and an outlaw who whipped the system. His notoriety preceded him, and every Japanese day trader knew his name. However, as his riches swelled, CIS began to feel like something was missing. The amusement and rush of winning trades had lost its adrenaline pump sensation, and he found himself increasing his trading sizes in an attempt to recreate the same highs he felt in his early career. Unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse when a Japanese e-commerce company called Live Door was investigated for accounting fraud. The news spread like wildfire, causing investors to panic and countless sell-offs. CIS quickly caught on, but his weighty account prevented him from fast exiting the market, resulting in a loss of $5 million. Despite trying to brush it off, CIS's losses continued to mount, and he soon faced his most brutal battle yet. CIS's pridefulness blinded him from learning a vital lesson, increasing his trade frequencies and sizes. He suffered from a severe case of gambler's fallacy, and the countless trading hours affected his health. After two Bear Stern hedge funds filed for bankruptcy, the looming doom of the 2008 real estate bubble started fanning. Mass fear spread among investors, causing Lehman Brothers stock to plunge in less than 24 hours. In a single day, CIS lost a gigantic $6 million. Despite the millions in his bank account, the heavy losses had set him back multiple years of hard-earned gains. But CIS chose not to give up. After reflecting on his journey, he realized he was the problem. He hadn't changed or improved his strategy to fit his current circumstances. To be undisputed again, he would have to create a new day trading strategy better adapted to his portfolio size. The classic improvise, adapt and overcome would be at play here. Refusing to compromise on his dignity and lose his title as one of the leading dogs of Japanese day traders, 
CIS set out to make the most substantial trade in his entire day trading career. It was a chilly 2014 winter morning in Tokyo, and the stock market was off to a slow start. News circulated that a recession was imminent as the country's decade of growth had finally come to an end. It was Black Monday, and a reversal was coming like never seen before. The price of SoftBank Corp., a major telecommunications company, had dropped a bewildering 5% and still no one was buying. That is, until a 35-year-old man sitting in his pajamas surrounded by comic books in his bedroom decided to make a move. With four computer screens glaring in front of him, he munched on a carrot to calm his nerves and began to place his bets. Betting against the market, it was now or never. After shortening the paper futures of the Nikkei 225 stock average for the last two weeks, small profits started rolling in. But he wasn't satisfied and decided to further double down on his positions. The tension was building up exponentially, but he knew his trade trend was right on the mark. The odds were stacked against him, but he knew that SoftBank's value had plummeted over the past nine days, and with the drop in U.S. markets overnight, it was the perfect time to make a move. He pulled the trigger and started to place his orders. Soon, others followed suit, and momentum built until SoftBank ended the day as one of the only two gainers in the Nikkei 225 stock index. By morning, he was gaping at double the profits, and he knew it was time to go all in. The momentum shifted, and as soon as the candle started coloring green, he was already determining his long exits. After countless years of trading, it had all come down to this one moment. It was the perfect trade. The man who made it all happen was none other than Pachinko Gambler CIS. Just 90 minutes later, he cashed out with a hefty profit. That single day, CIS walked away with a humongous $33 million in profit, and his extensive volume size had moved the leading index of Japan. It was just another day in the life of this mysterious trader who made millions from his bedroom with nothing but his wits and a few computer screens. CIS wanted the world to know his achievements but prefers to remain anonymous. He wishes to keep his identity hidden because he fears being a victim of theft or blackmail due to his extraordinary accomplishments. On his most hectic day, he traded stocks worth 70 billion yen, roughly 500 million dollars. The individuals that CIS associates with are also mainly day traders, including Kenji Umura. Kenji's a former Sony engineer who has authored a popular trading guide that has been printed five times. Like CIS, he doesn't go in for bling. Self-control is so important. You have to conserve your assets, Umura told Bloomberg about his friend CIS. That's what insulates you from the downturns and gives you the ammunition to make money. CIS may have come a long way since childhood, but one thing remains constant, his devotion to video games and gambling. Even now, as a married man with three children, he spends a few hours every day moving the Nakai and indulging in his favorite pastime. Despite his wealth, CIS chooses to live humbly and shows no records of spending on luxurious lifestyle. Instead, he focuses on ensuring his family's content, and his parents are comfy and healthy. CIS's unwavering dedication to his passion is truly inspiring. He spends most of his fortune on the one thing he loves, playing the game. Who knows where his undying commitment, relentless drive, and insane competitiveness will take him next? Click here to watch the shocking story of how BFN went from being a broke college kid to one of Japan's greatest day traders amassing over a $150 million fortune.